kind of the magic of artificial intelligence. Really, some of this technology is like as near to magic as you can imagine. Um, the magic of it is taking some of the problems that up to today would have taken so much manpower to solve, so many people, literally thousands of people, and saying, actually, a machine can now participate in this. And that, that transformation means that you can work uh, you can work so much faster than you ever would be able to before. And so that's very abstract, but like very concretely, you know, I think of the, again, you go back and you say, well, when we started doing U-2 flights, right? So the spy planes were flying over and observing every single you know, Russian military installation. Okay, well, it took an army of humans, analysts, to count every single ballistic missile that the Russians were building. Today, right, that's a very, very difficult task. People had to do a lot of work to do that. Today, an artificial intelligence algorithm can chew through every one of those images in a handful of minutes and count every single ballistic missile. And so what, like, the transformation of, of what that technology means is it says, wait a second, the data that you get back, the imagery you get back, the audio you get back is no longer the bottleneck for your decision-making process. Now something else it is. Um, and, it, and that, that like, changes how you, uh, like, how you plan everything how you make decisions in the field. 